Good day, everyone, and welcome to Indie Dev Education. Today, I will be showing you how to create a clean cutout of an image using GIMP 2.8. Before we begin this tutorial, it's important that you have a copy of GIMP installed on your system. Um, you can download GIMP from the website, which is www.gimp.org. And once you download it to your system, you can install it so that you are ready for this tutorial. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, we need to have an image to work on. And this is the first image we have here, a lady example. It's a JPEG image. Once you've installed GIMP on your system, you can run it from wherever you've installed it on your system and it will give you this blank interface. So what we're going to do is to, first of all, drag the image from the local folder into that blank space in the GIMP user interface. And as you can see, once you've done that, you have the image squared there very nicely. Now, the next stage is to create what we know or what we call an alpha layer or an alpha channel. Why do we need an alpha channel? It's pretty simple. An alpha channel creates a transparent layer beneath this image that we're looking at, which will enable us to create a clean cutout and lay that cutout on top of the transparent layer, which is the alpha channel. Now, in order for us to do that, we need to, first of all, create our alpha channel. So you right click on the image, you go down to layer, you go down to transparency and you can see add an alpha channel, which is what we need. So we create an alpha channel. OK, as soon as we create that alpha channel, the next thing we need to do is to select the aspect or the portion of our image that we intend to cut out. Now, in this image here, we're going to cut this lady out and omit the rest. That background there that's going to be taken out. So in order to do this, we go to what is known as the path tool. The path tool enables you to create a simple path around a section of an image after which you can cut it out or you could do what you want with it. So we have our alpha channel. So let's begin. So first things first, I'll zoom in a little bit to this lady because in order to get the best use out of the path tool, you need to really see what you're doing. So yes, we're going to begin and we'll click on this. Now the path tool is selected and you can see it looks like that. The cursor looks like that. So we start by going from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to slowly create a clean path around this woman or the image of this woman. What we need to do after creating this clean path, I will show you in a second. But the most important thing is accuracy. There's no need to rush because rushing could give you really jagged edges. So we are starting to create our path.
hey this is the end product what we've done now is to create a very clean path around this woman in this image and as you can see i went into great detail to ensure that these paths as you can see they're all sort of clustered up together let's zoom in to find out why as you can see i put a great amount of detail into creating a clean path around her braids so um let's go back down to 50 percent sorry i need 25 percent okay so now we're at 25 percent zoom now we've created a path around her what's the next step the next step is to click anywhere on the image and you go to select and you say select from path because that's what we need to do we've just created a path so we need to select the image from that path as soon as we click that you will notice that there is a line that shows you like a guideline around this image that shows you the path that you've created see a very important thing to note is that if you start here and you go around this image when you get to the bottom you can just click a straight line and join these two dots at the bottom that's what i do anyways because it makes life much easier for you and then you can always refine crop it later so we've just selected from the path now the next thing we do is to press Control i on the keyboard why do we do that Control i is to invert the selection we've selected from the path but we don't want to delete the image of the woman in the image what we want to delete is the background so we invert the selection so that everything else is selected except the woman and all you just do is click on delete or press delete on your keyboard voila you can see how clean that is it just gimp is pretty good for that because it just takes out the whole background look at that looking pretty good now the next step is also very important it has to do with file formats you know we've got bmp jpeg um dts oh, i'm sorry dd dds and we've got so many different image formats the image format that concerns us the most is obviously a transparent format a format that will enable us to save this image with that transparent background so we click on file and we go to export as it takes us back to the folder our tutorials folder now before you select or you save it's very important to click on this select file type here so we've done the select file type and what we've now done or what we're going to do now is to select the file format we want png png is what we need to save as so we say ladyexample.png export save background color um no i don't want to save a background color reason being that we need that background to be transparent and you untick that option and all you do is you just click on export okay now that we've exported the image as a transparent png the next stage is to find out if we did the right thing which is to find out if we're able to cut her out and all we do is go back to this folder and as you can see we've got this woman there with the background and if you click on the next image no background now if we zoom in you notice just how clean this cutout is i mean look at the detail in that cutout it's actually pretty pretty nice you can see the background there that's a transparent background because of the checkered design there so that shows that it's ready for further work now this quality is very good and it's a very high quality and it will enable us to do something very interesting in our next lesson because our next in our next lesson what we're going to be looking at is creating a composition using this transparent image that we've created from GIMP 2.8 so i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial um please don't forget to subscribe to the channel 
indie dev um, education. And from time to time, I'll be bringing out quite a lot of tutorials showing you how to get things done, you know, in a very cheap and cost effective way and in a very efficient and nice way as well. So look forward to seeing you at the next tutorial. Thanks. Thank you.